just like Antimony, has yet to drop a game over players Ooh. like Pelka, Brett, uh, Brave, and Wuji in his run. Wolf Steve, a very familiar matchup for uh, what should be both of these players. Shout Wolf out Syrup. And Syrup, Killer, uh, Killer Nest turning into a Killer Steve. Uh, Antimony, I'm sure, has played it, but plenty of wolf. There should be wolves everywhere. It's ultimate. There's, there's, there's got to be a wolf. There's got to be a wolf. There's got to be. <laughs> Mandatory. We need, we need to know a wolf in this region. Someone give me a name. Oh. Yeah, Antimony doing it. I love the way that Antimony's playing the sea, like you saw earlier in a set versus Pelka. Right? Using those blocks in such, like, like random, it seems random, where you're just throwing at the rock like, at the most random time. Just, like, and your opponent's like, you have to process. You, you have to say, sit there and attack the ball. You have to get around it somehow. You have to sit there and process what the Steve just did. And that's what Dantham, what he's doing. He's hitting with the, yeah, uh, essence of surprise. He's doing a pretty good job so far, but is it like that? Oh, yeah, up smash for getting scooped again because he's Jackal and he's up smashes twice. He's that guy. Like, the Jackal special. I mean, when it comes to Steve's, I, I will always be a proponent of use the stuff that's crazy. And you know what's crazy about this character? Block. Exactly block always. Oh, like, yeah. So be willing to place blocks. Like, do so at the the most times that you can and all at all the convenient times and whenever you're not placing blocks you've got other stuff to do out of hits done like that down air able to stuff jackal before he was able to get any any sort of extra credit going oh now trying to keep that pressure up trying to catch antimony out of the air yeah. oh big gold up tilts coming out 20 oh but dropping the combo unfortunately now jackal looking to get some damage up by himself well there we go nice spot as from antimony doing a very good job of avoiding these stars from tackle but man Dropping the axe is going to be unfortunate. And Jackal can take full advantage there. Not finding the backer just yet, but still finding some good damage. Oh my gosh. Letting all the gold tools go. You, you, you're getting the bank for your bunk right there. Make sure all the tools are gone before you use any more of the material. Ooh. Oh, and that gold, but the gold pickaxe is still online, which is still stronger than the uh, than the iron pick, iron other tools that he has going. And this is just, yep. This is just kind of, yep. Finally, oh. Jackal able to get in before the flint and steel ends up uh, catching his recovery and catching his two frame. Looking for man, Antimony has been picking so many good at tech options, and then you fall victim to yet another anvil. Antimony, looking looking solid thus far, has a diamond in his pocket for final stock, which he will get maybe the chance to use. Yes, he will, thanks to the Smashville platform, unable to interrupt it and turning that into a nice 48% combo. No PBR back air, but still solid damage. Oh, there we go. Now Jackal trying to get back into this game. Down 11% only. Antimony doing a fantastic job playing the pace of this game, using those diamond tools, right? Trying to get yeah, back in. Oh, are. yeah, there we go. It's diamond time, baby. Like, this uh -oh. is just what it's all building up What is up happening? To. You're fine. Yeah, using all of the different setups with Anvil in order to try and change your altitude and covering all that space anyway with back air. Jackal starting to get moving, though, as Antimony commits to the back oh air game. Oh, my God. Yep, there it is again. Nodding his head, because that is... That's Anvil PB, uh, that's Minecart PBR Bear. And like every, like as long as Steve is legal at tournaments, everybody's got to get used to exactly this as we get yeah, to see. It's crazy. Back air into Minecart and then jump out and you see it, you see it right there. The Minecart, he's facing this way. He's going this way. But Steve, Steve comes out and he turns around. That is one of the many applications of the Phantom Block, which lately has been kind of prone to the whole like, oh, fa like uh, Phantom State, you ignore hit stun. But it's always been used for exactly this. Turning around mid-air for no reason into in order to set up for yet more back airs and these massive back airs that can close out stocks so quickly. Jackal dropping that first game, but going to Town and City for game number two. And those application of Phantom Block, like you say, right? Using those blocks in those perfect opportune moments, accentuating those combos, and really just not giving Jackal a chance. Like, the thing about Wolf there, too, is that, like, he has to space those aerials and find those openings against Steve. So you throw that block out in the wrong place. Jackal's like, oh, I can't find my fair. What's going on here? I can't nair. I, I have to I have to wait for you to, to do your thing. I, I have to literally res I have to respect you. I don't have a choice. And Antimony is taking that respect and just absolutely crumbling in your face. Yeah. Hey, I don't care, bro. Have to. It's I part, of, it's part of the match. It's like I. <laughs> but you have got to to understand so Ooh. much of what this character does, or or you can be jackal, or you can choose to play the player. And seeing in those neutral getups is just such a way to poke out. Like I want to blow up the player, and all players have ledge habits. And for Steve, sometimes that be neutral getup. Sometimes that's roll. Sometimes that's doing other Steve things. But being able to punish those is uh, definitely being able to punish the player is one certain way to break your way into a, a game through this Steve. But Antimony, 
still committing to the game plan and still trying to hold steady despite not having any gold online. Oh yeah, doing a fantastic job trying to get these materials up. Sing so slightly under that platform. Now Jackal, finds way out of here, doing a very good job getting out of that combo. Knowing those combo routes, he's at DIing out, avoiding that perfectly. Up till, up till not going to connect just yet. Jackal now looking for the back here to close the stock. Fortunately, soon on Town and City. Oh, and that's going to be an F smash punish. Jackal now up 3 1. And just, yeah, this is, this is game two, Jackal. You know, he figured out what you're going to do. You, you, you're, you're doing normal get up too much. You know, you're going for the same combo starters. And Jackal's like, this guy, he, he understands. He gets his way at once, and, or he just runs through F smash. That's my fault. You know what, Jackal? Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah, that's tough. That's Especially tough. with the Star KO, right? Because then. Uh, gave Antimony yet more time to co to gather a bunch of resources, of which he got his first diamond of the set, right? All right, seeing the down throw into that dash attack, though. Just trying to get things started. Fair into a couple of full hop fairs as well. All right, like Jackal holding really much steady in this opening, uh, in, in the latter half of this game number two, trying to find a way to hold on to this momentum here, Momo, or at least to wrestle it back into its favor and doing a very good job of it, but it's just it's just so precarious against Steve, especially as a fast uh, as a fast forward like Wolf, just one jab and suddenly you can find yourself dropping a stock. Oh man, Steve jab, such an insane move. Now we got more diamond tools online. You're on that last stock, you need to let him go whenever you can. Now Jack will up a stock against the Steve. Find up slash again. That's not gonna do Oh yep. Yep. Okay, alright. Okay, that's a That's the benefit, right? Every almost every single spacey, despite you being able to get walked off into a fair spike and you die at ten, like the you have a reflector and you have an instantaneous and almost obvious answer to exactly this. Every Steve loves to do this. No. Why not do it? You die for it. You die for it. That's why. Against any other character, why not? Against Jackal. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do that anymore. Okay. This is perfect. You do this at the end game, too. You go into this game three, Antimony's like, good. every time you're above Jackal now, you're going to second guess that anvil. Yeah. You're going to think, wait, do I anvil here? Or what if you reflect it? Or at the very least, you anvil, but you jump off of it. Hey, that's true, too. So you don't get the follow up after that anvil. Yeah. You don't get the follow up, and the anvil hits for almost half as less knockback. So you're like, all right, I'll take that anvil. We don't like, talk about fear factor in this game enough. That's one of those things. Like, you just get, like Jackal's just going to throw it out on the line. He's Jackal. Why uh -oh. wouldn't he do it? Uh oh. Uh oh. All oh. right. The SDI in was enough in order to avoid a death. <laughs> but, you know. Yes. Yeah. For the moment. <laughs> For the yes. moment. Yes. Smashville is the pick here as well. It, I mean, zoners on Smashville is such an interesting case because characters like Wolf can break zones so reliably with utilization of uh, his amazing airspeed, good buttons, all of this stuff. But when you're able to control space and set up stage as well as Steve can, there's just not many places to go, especially when you have lingering blocks. Like, as you were mentioning, Momo, like Antimony loving just to, to place a block and let it sit there for a little bit. Oy. Yeah. There's yet another anvil closing out yet another stock. Jackal once again behind a stock uh -oh. and maybe uh -oh. behind two here. Oh, going into the down oh. tilt, but missing the back air afterwards. Did not fast fall after the PBR. And it keeps Jackal alive for the very moment. I have not seen one of those since October of 2020. That was ridiculous. Uh, oh, yeah, getting a little crazy there, but Antimony's still not taking the stock. Jackal hanging on just fine. Nair into back air. There we go. That's that's the fusion. He hits that one at fusion all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> he hits that. He's just like, he feels comfortable. Like, oh. Yeah, it's like, all right. Okay. All right. I'm hitting my stuff. <laughs> like, this is this is the good stuff. And now it's, yes. you gotta, we got to turn that into W's. Fair, fair up tilt. And yet more fairs. I almost like Jackal Util uh, and other wolves as well. Uh, uh, players like Ouch have been doing it, where they're sort of like starting to chain together and trying to use full hop fair as a jump call out instead of trying to perfectly set up falling fair, since that's the that's like the opportune starter, right? Yeah. Like, be more flexible. Get used to what getting used to hitting the awkward parts of your kid, as if yeah. Just exactly. You know, we were talking about it earlier with light. You know, using those moves, you don't really see that. Like four tall on Fox. Yeah. You use moves. That you you got to change the meta for other people. You got to do those things in the moment that someone's not going to expect at all, right? And Jackal does that a lot. But you're also seeing Antimony doing out these these crazy block placements, doing these aerials. Time the, the TNT not going to land, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Far. I thought we were doing something crazy. And every single one of these spot dodges, every single one of these scrambles is so, so dangerous. And Antimony, I don't believe he has a jump here, but is able to refresh Ooh. it so easily. But the call out on the falling fair, getting right by it with the low profile on Wolf Up Smash. And now we've got final stock situation here for Antimony, trying not to fall into this killer of a loser's bracket. But 
He's sitting behind Jackal, who seems much more willing to play to center stage, set up lasers, set up utilization of Nair, and slowly tick away at this damage. Oh, Jackal sitting here perfectly waiting for Antimony to pick the wrong option. Diamond in hand. Oh my god, on shield. Putting so much pressure on. Now we see the jab coming out from Jackal. The tech off the block. Amazing reaction there from Jackal. Still hanging on to the stock just fine. But that back air is going to do it. Last stock scenario. Steve with Diamond Tools. This game is most certainly not over yet. See Jackal very seldomly shooting the gun here as well. Wants to keep Antimony at these low mid per or at these mid percents where he knows like falling fair can combo into something. Or at the very least all of his starters can actually uh, result in a backer or result in something. But now that he's reached 114, uh, incidentally, thanks to a lot of these nares, we're back to the gun. We're back to playing the spacing game. You're not trying to interact with, uh, with this sword because oh. this exact thing can happen. Forward smash almost getting there. Si uh, 69% and and you messed up oh. the TNT. Building rage, Wait, building rage. Building rage. You know, He's building not, rage. It wasn't an accident. There are no accidents. It's Holy. Oh. oh. But that dash hack is going to do it. Das Boot closing it out for Jackal. What a nail biter. What a nail biter. Deep Take that breath. breath. Deep breath. <laughs> I love New Jersey. Yes. Oh, it's a, it's a All right, long, there goes my bias. I had to look yeah, out okay. real quick. It's a long, long road, but. Look at this right here, the, the dash attack, the extra little linger on the crafting table, and this is the this is actually the hit of dash attack. If we could see that again here, Devin, uh, I just want to talk about the different properties of. Oh, wolf you want me dash. to go back to it? Yeah, just the last stock, please. Uh, right here, right. So wolf dash attack is a funny move, okay? Because it has multiple different hitboxes. Uh, <laughs> I love I love the dash attack. four times. Yeah, yeah. Come on, God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about what he did? He did dash back, dash back, dash back four times into a dash tag. Well, it's, more, it's part of what makes Wolf's burst range so crazy because his initial dash is so good. So you can play that dash advance game and then lead into dash attack at these high percents, which it matters when you hit it. And it matters when and where you hit it. If you hit the late hitbox, if you if you hit the hitbox when it's early, it sends straight up, as you see here, uh -huh. which is the hitbox you want at these high percents when you know it'll close out. Yeah. For early stocks, though, you can hit the late hitbox and it'll send straight out. Yeah. And then in between that, it sends at a 45 degree angle. But the fact that in all of these dash dances, we're seeing uh, we're seeing Jackal get closer, like slowly inching away from like here to here. But now he's here, like slowly inching closer and closer to Steve, forcing him into the corner and then letting the dash attack rip. Like it's just such a good use and of crafting like, table too. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like even if he spot dodged there, he still would have got caught with the dash attack. The crafting sure. table, which is that that's just the detriment of Steve, right? That, that's that, that's the one thing too that crafting table can absolutely make or break. Just very good call out from Jackal. Because, again, a nail biter of a set. Incidental awareness. It matters. It matters every mm -hmm. single moment. And it matters, especially against Steve when you're playing him, and especially when you're playing against him. Mm -hmm. Just after Jackal Ooh. going to top eight winners, we've got our final set of top 32. Close out these top eight winner side. We are top 32 winner side, my apologies. We've got Ling and Soul Arts. Ooh, Soul Arts on a run. Soul Arts on yeah. a run, getting the win over 